Time now for the morning rush. City Council is going to be taking another two weeks to reevaluate the zero fare bus program. Members of the public, they urged the council not to change that zero fare model, arguing that it would put up barriers for those most in need of free transit. Now, under the proposed program, riders without a pass or ID will pay $1 per ride or $2 for a day pass. Continuing with news from City Council, councilors accepted a contract with the nonprofit Heading Home it's to operate the new Gateway Center on Gibson. A full 24 7 shelter services are set to begin in April. That's with emergency winter beds slated to be available starting next week. City councilors also approved a pair of housing projects for lower income families, with one on Central near Unser. That will include nearly 50 one bedroom apartments as well as communal spaces and a partnership offering support services to get people back on their feet. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. Temperatures this morning are very chilly at 27 degrees. Layer up. We are going to stay cool today and we'll be seeing cloudier skies. So that sun isn't going to warm you up as much with those highs in the 40s. Well, the man responsible for a deadly hit and run crash will spend the next seven years behind bars. In October 2018, Matthew Lowe hit and killed Emilio Gomez as he was crossing the street at First and Central. Lowe pleaded no contest to homicide by vehicle while driving under the influence. Charges are pending against a teen after they allegedly brought a gun to Roswell High School. The 16-year-old was detained by a Roswell police as well as a school resource officer and school security. Roswell police say that the teen was taken to the police department and then questioned. A teen and a 27-year-old are facing charges this morning after a shooting in Alamogordo. Officers were called out early Tuesday. It's where they found two vehicles and a home that had been hit by gunfire. A 13-year-old girl was charged with aggravated fleeing. Meanwhile, 27-year-old James Romero was charged with shooting at an occupied dwelling and being a felon in possession of a firearm. Erica. And here's a look at our threat index. It is nice and low today. We have some really cold temperatures in northern New Mexico this morning. Single digits and teens. So you're needing the warm layers. Cover up your skin. This morning, Republican leader Kevin McCarthy's quest to become Speaker of the House remains stalled. House members once again came together holding a series of votes. But so far, no candidate has come out with enough support. Now, without a speaker, members cannot be sworn in and they cannot receive intelligence briefings from military officials. Well, the Justice Department is now defending President Biden's student loan relief plan. The DOJ filed a brief with the U.S. Supreme Court late Wednesday, arguing that the Education Secretary has the authority to provide student loan forgiveness. Well, a massive storm right there on your screen is battering California this morning. Residents are riding out a one-two punch of strong winds and nearly a foot of rain in spots. Governor Gavin Newsom has declared a state of emergency. That storm is being blamed for at least one death. Erica. And here's a look at traffic. The maps are clear, no accidents or slowdowns. And here's a live look to the big eye. Lots of cars out there this morning. Luckily, no weather issues. Well, take a look right here. These Texas twin girls, they are just born minutes apart and, and in age, obviously, but their birthdays will show two different years. Meet Annie Jo and Effie Rose. One was born in 2020, 2022. The other was born uh, the next year in 2023. Parents Callie Joe and Cliff Scott, they are ecstatic with their little bundles of joy. Time now for the five facts. At number five, the UNM men's basketball team are asking for your help as they hold their annual diaper drive this Saturday. Fans are encouraged to bring in unopened packages of diapers to donate to UNM Hospital as the Lobos square off against UNLV. The diapers will benefit children being treated at UNMH during the RSV COVID and flu season that has brought a surge of patients to the hospital. Those not attending the game can contribute online. We've posted a link on alwaysonkrqe.com. At number four, the developer with plans to bring downtown Albuquerque back to life has pulled out of that project. The city says a key piece of the rail trail project, which is the $6 million Springer Square Skylink Bridge, will not move forward because of current market conditions and rising construction costs. It is a disappointment for downtown business owners, and the city says that it's working with the developer to explore other options to add badly needed housing. And at number three, we are going to be seeing a cool day today with more clouds. Temperatures starting below freezing in Albuquerque and will climb into the 40s for our afternoon. At number two this morning, Bernalillo County's newest district attorney says that he is ready to fight crime in the community. Sam Bregman was appointed DA earlier this week by Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham. Now that's taking over for now State Attorney General Raul Torres. 
Bregman says that he is ready to help tackle crime here in the community. Now, Bregman also said that he would push for better pay for lawyers in his office, saying that the legislature needs to allocate that funding as another tool to fight crime. And at number one, City Council is going to be taking another two weeks to reevaluate the Zero Fare Bus Program. Now, members of the public urged the council not to change the Zero Fare model, arguing that it would put up barriers for those most in need of free transit. This comes after city councilors have repeatedly pushed back the vote and made revisions to the proposed rules. Those for it say that the current program has led to a rise in violence on the city buses, but critics argue that the proposal is not the solution. Now, under that proposed program, riders without a pass or ID will pay $1 per ride or $2 for a day pass.